Alright, what's good everybody? Welcome to the Garfish Podcast. What's Garfish? It's the double entendre, you know what I'm saying? We're not quite golfers, a little too much swag for that, but we Garfish. And uh, yeah, we only talking that Garfish, you know what I'm saying? You do. I really started a podcast with hitters that I had just met on the T box. Mike is a vet, the best, I'ma need three shots. If I went, I'ma call Cap and I'm telling them he not. B used to be in the league. Now we just drawing it over the trees and I'm in between. Or I done lost it. Golf in the day and the night, we gonna talk it. This is the Garfish. Yo, yo, welcome back to the Golf Fish. Got my boy Rory over here. What's up, Rory? What up, dog? Hey, got B Foster in the corner. What's up, man? What it is. And we got a special guest, man, my boy Doc Adams, aka Black Tuss. What's good, bro? In the building. Hey, what's happening, man? Hey, man. <laughs> Glad to be on the show. What's good? Hey, Great. hey, hey. So, you know, you know how we do. We like to, you know, get that golf fish, you know, find some some stuff that, you know, the ordinary golfer might not know. Um, so real quick, tell us about your brand, how you got started, you know, and, and give us a little bit of feedback so everybody can know where you're coming from. Well, uh, the brand got started, man, and I would say in 2020, man, I was in oil and gas. I was an exec out there uh, in marketing and all that, man, traveling the world and all that kind of stuff. But then, hey, like anybody else, man, you get laid off. So I was wondering, like, what's now, you know? So I was sitting there saying, I love the golf. I love fashion. I love all that kind of stuff. So I was like, why not me? You know, why not start a golf brand? So that's how Doc Adams Golf was branded, you know, and that's how it started. Um, but then, you know, I ran into a little trouble. We'll get into that later. But yeah, uh, yeah we'll say that. We'll say that later. About. Yeah. <laughs> all right, big yeah. facts, big facts. <laughs> he said trouble with a smile on his face. I can't, I want to hear this. <laughs> oh, no, you got yeah, some good stuff. We'll say that for, for a little bit later. Um. So real quick, so tell us what you offer. Like, what what kind of what what's your? Because we see you know golf brands. You know, we we, we talk to our boy Wayno. You know, he's doing that trap hold on, golf. Hold on, hold on, you know? hold on. Before 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 you get in that, because we know you, we know you. Uh, where where are you from, Doc? Man, I'm originally up from Jasper, Texas. Man, so I'm just a little country boy. You know, living out here in Houston right now, though. Don't come to you in Houston right now. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Down there, down there with Mike. Oh yeah, yeah boy. See Mike <laughs> on the regular. Okay. Oh yeah, so, we get out there in the golf course, man. Hey man, don't be letting him beat you when you play either, because he ain't, he ain't used to right. winning. So you know, he might, <laughs> this dude here, he, man, he might he might check it out on you. So don't let that yeah. boy win, build hey, up his yeah, confidence. Hey, and all Doc, that. Doc, see me my good days and my bad days, but these dudes coming oh, yeah. on. My, my... We we catch on your good Straight days and we still days. beat you, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I hope I, I hope that one of the good these day. dudes. I hope <laughs> right, no doubt, no doubt. Um, but yeah, no, let's let's, let's talk oh, a little bit about you know um, well uh, well. What lane you in, man? Because I know, like I said, there's, it's a couple, you know, black golf brands out there. You know, what makes yours different? What, what kind of target market are you after? Well, me, uh, I'm a little bit different than everybody else. I wanted to offer the full spectrum, right? Uh, a lot of guys out there don't do that. So I wanted to clothe you from from head almost to toe. I did have a shoe concept, but I, I kind of bagged off of that. So I offer the full spectrum, you know, polos, hats, all the way down to pants. So, so I'm a full service golf uh, apparel company. So that's where I am. That's my lane. So you try to go after the the actual golf attire, not the like the the casual, you know. No, no. I mean, on I do course, offer like some t shirts and all that, but like mainly on course wear. On course wear. Yeah. So I'm mainly on course. Yeah. Okay. But I do offer some casual stuff, so you can't rock me off the yard too. So. Oh yeah. Uh, mainly, oh, yeah. I'm 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 definitely looking for on course for sure. Gotcha. Do you have yeah. Do you have any? I know you said you was in oil and gas. I mean, like, do you have any background? You got people around you that know about fashion? Because you said you said I like golf, I like fashion, but did you already have like experience in that? Because it looked, I mean, it looks like it looks like you got everything going. So like, I figured, I figured like maybe he dabbled with it before, and now he turned it to golf. So what's your like? Actually, yeah, man. So when I when I started out in my career, man, way way back in the late '90s. So I'm a little bit older than you cats, uh, but showing the age, uh, man. Showing the age. Off I started oh, off no. uh, doing uh, <laughs> working for a screen printing shop. So, you know, doing screen printing and all that, I saw that it was a an opportunity for me to jump into that, man. So I actually been pushing Doc Adams since 1998, uh, but I never really just pushed it, pushed it. You know, I started off in just regular clothing line, trying to be your FUBU, your Sean, John, Polo, or something like that is where I started. Uh, mm -hmm. So I wanted to be your just regular run of the mill type fashion thing. But then when I got into golf, I saw an opportunity to to do something that, you know, we wasn't out there doing, you know. So I wanted to be one of the ones that had some staying power, you know, offer a full spectrum versus just something that that may or may not be here next year. So I wanted to 
make sure that I'm in a lane that can last. So that's how I got into golf, actually. So because it wasn't some, it wasn't a lot of people in that lane, but now you see everybody trying to attack it. So yeah, for but sure. yeah, that's why I'm trying to get my twit hold in that. Bet, bet. What's up, man? Well, look, everybody got these old great, great, great ass questions. I got a question too. So look, where, where no does black? What is Black Tusk? Where's that? Where's that name come from? What is the inspiration behind Black Tusk? Man, it's really, uh, I mean, it's really nothing behind it, right? So whenever I lost my, uh, the lawsuit that I had, uh, so I wanted to do something that was very, very strong, but then also represented the culture. So I wanted to say, you know, I mean, it's about being, you know, black and about being, you know, proud of what you are. And then the, and then the elephant was always there. You know, the elephant is strong, it's wise, man. It never forgets. And the elephant came because, you know, I never wanted to forget where I came from. If you know anything about an elephant, the elephant knows all, it remembers all. So I wanted to know where all the lanes that I have been, you know, down my career, down my life, bro. I've been I've been through some ups and downs, boy. So, you yeah. know what I mean? I wanted to make sure that I always knew where I came from, dude, and because where I could be is very, very different than where I am right now. So that's where the elephant came from. So I yeah. wanted it to be a very strong and powerful name. So once I lost Doc Adams as a name, I wanted something strong that it kind of, you know, rolls off the tongue real good, man. And Black Tusk just was it. So that's how that came about. So that was, so what about just just the name Doc Adams? I mean Adams, that's your last name. Yeah. Okay. So Doc and my nick Doc is uh, a nickname that I've been had, man, since okay. I was like two years old. So everybody that knows me uh in a professional aspect knows me as Doc. Doc so it's yeah, just okay. kind of stuck. It's kind of stuck actually. So so I rock with it. But yeah, like you okay. talking about ele- you talking about elephants, like I you know, I don't I don't be like on like National Geographic all the time. I'm talking about do, a spirit I, animal. I do recall, nah, nowhere near that. I do recall yeah. like I don't know. I saw it on something. It was probably on like a movie, and like National Geographic was in the background. But um, yeah. they're talking about like elephants, like they when they pass the remains of like a like a elephant that passed, like they they like they change their behavior or something like that. But I like I've never I never knew that they was just like you know like. They they were like they, they were known like that like just wise and remember yeah. you know remember all I just I didn't I didn't yeah. know all that so that's kind of dope to hear about it and yeah, especially no doubt. I think I think that's kind of I think it's a come up that like that black tusk I think that's dope you know what I mean like yeah. the the fact that you had to get into that but like I, I like that I think that one stands out and it goes you know it definitely goes with that uh the logo all right, no doubt appreciate it definitely I, I know and a, a spin off of that since you know we, we've been dabbling around you know kind of tiptoeing around the 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 lawsuit or the, the, the tailor made uh situation is, is bring people to light, you know, kinda, you know, dive in that. Well, I mean, it, it was crazy actually, man, how that whole situation came about, right? So when I launched Doc Adams in September of twenty twenty, I mean it was like gangbusters. I mean it was on fire. Boom, 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 boom. I told my wife, I was like, yo, I think this is it. I might retire you. You know, so I mean, it was going that good, man. So, and I'm like, yo, so, but at the same time, you know, after everything got rolling, I got this letter in the mail. I'm like, yo, what the hell is this law firm hitting me up for? And they were like, hey, you know, Taylor May is uh, opposing your trademark. And I'm sitting there going, like, what? At first, I thought it was a joke, dude. And then, you know, it soon <laughs> came that that was not a joke. So, what it was is they didn't like, um, Right, but you don't. They don't own a certain name. Come on, man. That's my last name. But yeah. so they they were prepared to take it the full way, man. So so what happened was uh, they asked me to stop using Doc Adams Golf. Right. So that was my website, Doc Adams Golf. It's still my website right now. So I'm like, you know, y'all can kick rocks, you know. So I mean, that's my name. So, but yeah, man, we were in in court for probably a little over a year, and basically, I just gave up. Because they had a lot they got more the money. money. Than my yeah, head. they could just and drag they were it gonna out. drag that thing out, man. And so, I That's mean, long story though. short, that you know, they wanted they they said I was misleading customers uh, as Doc Adams, you know, because you know, because they were trying to relaunch Adams Golf, which they still haven't oh. done, you know. Oh wow! Uh, I mean, they're not gonna relaunch Adams Golf, bro. I I played Adams Golf. They had some great sticks, man. It was a little superficial because it was my last name. So I had the bags, I had everything. I was rocking with them. <laughs> it was Adam's I mean, I yeah, really I was, man. I mean, you know, so but at the same time, dude, I was like, man, y'all don't even use that, bro. Y'all took all the technology from Adam's golf and everybody that's playing Taylor Made right now, even you be Foster. 
Uh, you you are <laughs> you are benefiting from the technology that they have from Adam's Golf. That speed slot and all that that's underneath all those tailor made sims and all that kind of stuff. Adam's Golf was using that like early 2013, 14. I mean, oh, yeah. people think oh, yeah. that's new technology. No, it's not, bro. So and me, you know, they were like they were gunning for me, bro. And I was like, I made the mistake really though. They 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 played me not having a lawyer because I was like, man, I could fight this shit by myself because, I mean, they don't have a chance. You know what I mean? I didn't think they had a chance because one, Adams was my last name. They weren't even using Doc Adams Golf and they weren't using the Adams Golf, sorry. And on top of that, they hadn't launched a club in like seven, eight years. And and yeah. they don't do apparel. I didn't sell clubs. Mm-hmm. You know, so I oh, started yeah, messing with them, right? So I, what I did, I had some wedges made. So they told me if I ever made a club, they'd sue me. So I had some wedges made. So I got some wedges. Um, <laughs> I've seen them. Just got I my elephant them. on them and all that, man. So I, I, I was going I was going to make them. They were like, we're going to sue you if you make those wedges. And they said they were going to sue me if, they, if I made those head club, those head covers right there. Those, those joints right there. But so, man, I was, you know, but then it got real, bro. So I was like, all right. You know, I had to hire a lawyer and all this kind of stuff, man. And at the end of the day, I mean, I just really threw it in the towel, man, because they were going to drag that out. But it kind of hurt, man, because I was just trying to get into to retail, like PJ Superstore, you know, Dicks and all that kind of stuff. But you can't do that, you know, if you're if you're not trademarked. So so I basically had to start over, dude. So and I was like, wow, man. So it, it kind of put me, you know, every time you think you're taking, you know, you hear that mantra, you know, take 10 steps forward, then I take 20 backwards. So I took 20 back. Because basically, I had to start over. I mean, and, and, and so, like, one of the stipulations was I had to get rid of everything that says, you know, Doc Adams Golf. So, I got to get rid of all that. So, if y'all watching the podcast, I still got stuff 50% off. So, go ahead and get that. Hey, hey, check, hey, check, hey, check the website. We'll drop the website yeah, down. Go get your stuff, man. Let's go ahead and clear that inventory out so we can, uh, you know, have this new stuff drop. So, right up, right but basically, man, that's what it was, man. Taylor May, they, they did me dirty, bro. I mean, just a small company. I'm talking about. You know, you're talking about a billion dollar company coming out to a thousand there. You know, I mean, I might be overestimating on a thousand there, but at the <laughs> same crazy. time, they're coming up after a little small company, man. And I couldn't believe it at first. And then, you know, once it got real, I was I was kind of bummed out about that, bro. So it kind of just, Damn. you know, it left a bad taste in my mouth. So it is what it is, though. That's Let crazy. They even found you. Man. Like, how, did they, how did they find you? Like, hold on, hold on. We, we found out this guy's Doc Adams golf. What is this about? <laughs> Like, so, so I think how, how I they would come, I would think I, I would think it's I, I can the, speak on that. I would think the issue is the Adams golf part of it. I think it like when yeah. you say like that's that's I mean I think I, I think if you probably probably if you called it like if you just left it at Doc Adams, I think you probably would have. I mean I, that would be my assumption. But it's like no. when you say because when you said because when you said Doc Adams at okay but when we said Doc yeah. Adams at first and I was like what are they worried about and then you were like yeah so I was Doc Adams golf and I was like oh if right right but like, like Adams the golf Adams part period. Just, yeah, I mean, so, uh, so trademark my last anyone, name, dude. Hey, so people don't. So just a little background, like That's I don't got. I'm not 100 percent knowledgeable on this, but trademarking, you know, you have to file your stuff with the federal government. Right. And if someone wants to submit a, a new trademark, they match it up to what's already in the system. So for a TaylorMade, you ain't got to put a category because they got to know what kind of you know. Tr- I mean, you know, in real estate, um, right. bills, bonds, retail. whatever. So yeah, right. so you put like a retail with Adams. And maybe you put like a, a golf category or something like that. It's gonna flag the legal team, and that's it what's did, gonna generate that. The the it, it, that's how it went. But so what happens when you file your trademark? Anybody has thirty days to oppose after it goes live. Yeah. So your trademark goes live, it's published and all that. So mine went through the whole process of getting published and everything, and then Taylor May decided to oppose after that. So they get some kind of notification after a trademark goes live, and you have that thirty yeah. days. So. Within that 30 days, they were like, nah, buddy, not going to happen. So even though their trademark was dead, so I did all the research. They had Their trademark wasn't dead. And what they did was they told me if I give them like a 30-day grace period, they, they'll make sure we resolve this amicably. So I was like, mm, I should have said no. I said yes, and them boys did me dirty on the back end. They, I told them, if y'all trying to mess me over, bro, you know, it's going to be some problems. So what happened was during that 30 days, they refiled their mark. And then I got a letter Ooh. in the mail saying, um, I can't oppose their mark because of this reason. I was like, oh, boy, these dudes wow. got me. So they got, got you. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah, they Damn. got me. But so, that was hey, that's I a lesson. No. 
Hey, that's a lesson to everybody, so man. Everybody you know, don't, out don't, there, man. Don't trust nobody. Don't be grateful. No, no. But that, I mean, I don't know. That's 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 kind of uh, that's kind of dirty, though. Like, you know what I mean? Like oh, you yeah, say, they got me. yeah. I mean, you go back, you be like, because like somebody got to be sitting there and saying like, well, we don't, we're not using it no way. You know what I mean? Right. No, and, no then, and then and then and then serious. somebody else go back and say, I don't care. Like somebody in that office said, I don't care if he give us that time. Go ahead, resubmit it, and then we go. You know what I mean? I'm just like, I did that. But I did that out of generosity, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, well, we're trying to settle this. I want to keep my name. Let's see where this goes and all that kind of stuff. And Even worse, bro. Oh, yeah. They, they, you know it was I mean? on me, though. I should have told them up. I, mean, I should have told them, uh, you know, hey, man. <laughs> no, nah, you can't, bro. We had, <laughs> nah. Roger, we had Roger and Wayne on here. Hey, right? you good, man. Like, it's unfiltered. Yeah. It's unfiltered. I'm the only, I'm the only one good. censored on here, bro. I'm the only one censored <laughs> I on here. I, I should have said, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. But, you know what I'm saying? Trying to be business-minded, you know, situations can be you know, settled and all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, just trying to do that. And it just didn't work out. And the crazy thing is, dude, I had the plug with Taylor May, right? So my former CFO at the company that I worked for was the CFO for Taylor May for 15, 20 years or something like that. So this dude knew the CEO of Taylor May. So I told him, man, look, this is how we could sell this. I was like, look, hit him up and tell him I'll fly out to, to, to Carlsbad. We'll go play like, Tory Pines or some shit like that and just go ahead and squash it all. And yeah. so we were almost there and then his lawyers like squashed all of that stuff, bro. I'm like, <laughs> Damn. Bro. You know I mean, when the legal people get into it, bro. No, they, they established so I, didn't, I didn't even have to go all, I didn't even have to go all around. Man. I had a direct link and the dude reached out to him a couple of times, man. And it was like, we tried to work it out, dude. But at the end of the day, man, you know, when your money long, you know, you control the situation, you know, a lot better than everybody else. So it is what it is. So I let it go now. I mean, I mean, would, would I see you it took a different swing, route, but would you ever swing Taylor May clubs ever again? My life depending on it. I wouldn't swing a Taylor May club. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hurts. I'm, I'm saying, saying no just, Taylor hey, game look, over here, bro. I'm just, hey, look, I got some Taylor May balls that I hit hard as I can into my neck. <laughs> long I drive not, I on that long look. drive hole, you pull <laughs> the Taylor May out. <laughs> hey. I try to knock every dimple off of them, bro. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, 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 hey, man. You know what, though? I, I mean, I, I, I can vouch for that. I, 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 seen this, I, seen this, I see this man pick up brand new balls, like find them on the course and just toss them back in the water. Like, I'm good. Like, brand new and balls, like TV5. That's TV5. That's TV5. That's TV5. Oh, no, no, just toss it. They don't get no love. I'd rather hit a top <laughs> flight. <laughs> Damn. I love them. Yo. <laughs> yo, yo. Yeah. Hey. Pinnacle gold. I'd rather hit that boy. <laughs> But yo, um, let's bounce off of that and, and kind of tell us, you know, where you, you, what trajectory, what kind of plan do you have for Black Tusk Golf, man? What, what's the plan? What, what can we see you in the next few years? Man, Black Tusk Golf is, is something, man, that I, I'm just very passionate about it, right? So, I wanna, I, my goal is to have a brand that's that's here to stay, right? So, yeah. I want to do something that that's you know for us, by us, you know what I'm saying. But at the same time, everybody rocks with it. I got a lot of customers from coast to coast, man. And I really appreciate everybody that's been rocking me from Doc Adams now to Black Tusk. Um, I mean, that's the good thing about it, man. So I want to be that person where, hey, man, y'all see this brand on TV, you know what I mean? So you see a boy out there rocking. I got a couple of go golfers that I sponsor now. One just made the uh, the Canadian tour. Uh, I got a couple of cats in Cali. I mean, that rock with me. So I'm just trying to get out there, man. And basically, I just want to be a brand that you see and that's recognizable at all times, man. When you see this elephant, you already know what it is. So that that's my goal is to is to have that brand that that started from the bottom. You know what I mean? And now it's here, like you know. So that's bro, that's such a, it's such a dope logo, man. I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, man, oh yeah. Like the crunkiest elephant I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh yeah, and if y'all don't know, man, they elephant cold boy. He bought that life for real. He bought that life. Hey, look, I've been talking to Rory since he had five thousand followers. Wait, yeah, man. I was about to say, yeah, yeah, I got, I still got the polo in the closet. I still got the polo in the closet. Hey, man, I told him just rock with me. So the thing that I've been doing, man, is is kind of just sending people stuff, right? I mean, it wasn't that you know I wasn't trying to get. You know, it wasn't cloud chasing or anything like that, man. I wanted feedback, right? Because it, a lot of times people put stuff out there, especially in the brand, man, and you don't really get feedback. You're sitting here talking, you know, it's kind of like you got your homeboys your, in, your, in your corner, them your hype man. You're like, no matter what you put out, it's dope, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't want that. You know, I didn't want that at all. I wanted somebody to say, hey, man, this trash, bro. You don't even need to. Hey, don't, don't put these out no more. So that's what I was looking for. So I sent it to a couple of people, man. I was looking for feedback. 
And the overwhelming feedback was really good. Hey, man, I like your product. Thank you for all that. And I still got a couple of people that rock with me. You know, I sent people stuff, then they bought stuff. So it's like that, you know. So I just really wanted to see where I was because at the end of the day, you know, I don't have anybody really pushing me. You know, like you got a lot of these other brands that that got lucky or had somebody that's, you know, behind them, some kind of celebrity, something like that. I don't have that. So I'm I'm just starting, I'm really getting it from the mud. You know, if somebody decides to rock with me, they can. But I do got a cat that's rocking with me real strong, man. Shout out to uh, Anthony Alibi, man. He he's on Netflix on uh, Family Reunion, man. Y'all y'all uh, check him out. Yeah, I know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, but... yeah, yeah, yeah. So Anthony been rocking with me really hard, bro, and I really appreciate you for that. For sure. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. What uh um what was I about to say? You you still got a lot of your plugs. I know you said when when uh when Doc Adams first launched. You said it was hot and it was moving. Oh, uh, he was uh, he was about to get in the uh, dicks and uh, paws. <laughs> he was about to get in like feet. You know what I mean? You about to you about to get in you about to get into certain stores. You still right. have those contacts? I mean, like I do, you, man. But you, like I said, until until the trademark clears, you know, oh, it's, okay, it's, okay. it's nothing you can have. Uh, nothing really you can do. So so I'm I'm you know about to start checking with that black touch should clear here. At, you know, barring somebody gonna come out the woodwork with some dumbass shit. And yeah, say, t- t- hey, man, man. Really hey, we like got me. black, we got black drivers. Yeah. We got black drivers. <laughs> know, right? so, barring so you, can't you use know, black or tusk or the letter T. Right. So barring any of that happens. See, and the crazy part is, I filed my own trademark the first time. It's because yeah. that's what I did. You know, I was in marketing. I knew how to file trademarks. So, I mean, I've done logos and all that. I was in brand management, so that's what I done. So launching a brand, I didn't need any help because that's where I come from. So. I've done logos for Fortune 500 companies. I was a global brand manager for this company. I traveled the world, bro. So I didn't need any help. I knew exactly what to do. But for the black testing, I hired a lawyer. So I was like, you know what? Nah, it won't be any of that. No chances. Time. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, no chances. So, but the same lawyer I had that was rocking with me through the tailor-made is the person that's, uh, you know, helping me with the black testing. Y- y'all probably know her. Y'all probably follow on the gram. Uh, Joy Blunt Guard, you know, Jordan Franklin, uh, she's uh, she's big on the ground into golf. She rocks with the sticks golf just like you, Rory. So, I mean. Uh, uh, now I might know who you're talking about just because you said that. Yeah, she, she um, she's on the ground. Y'all need to follow her, man. She's, uh, do, she's man. a cold lawyer. Sure. Oh, yeah. She, she's, uh, That's what's up. she's good with it. So, yeah. That's what's up. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So, but also, I was um, speaking of sending people stuff. I was sending people gloves. I sent Rory a glove, I, and I wanted to know how long did that glove last you? Uh, it's still good. I think it's still good right now. I just, yeah. I was, uh, I was wearing it. It was a black one, wasn't it? Wasn't it black? Yeah, it was black. Yeah. Yeah, I was rocking it when I needed a black glove, and then I had like a foot joy that I was rocking when I needed a white glove. But I don't think. I'm just bad with gloves though. Like I just lose, but I still got it though. I still got it. Right, right, it wasn't, right. it wasn't one, good. it wasn't one that like, uh, that like, you know, like that there was any problem with it. Cause I had like somebody right, sent right, me, right. somebody sent me one one time and made my hand ashy. So I couldn't rock with it. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy, bro. Was it a glove? Bro, I'm telling I'm telling you, like as soon as you, I mean, I'm on the first hole, bro. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, go in the pot, whatever. Like what the hell is this, dog? Like, right, right. I have to so keep yeah, so what? The only one don't have no drip, so I'm gonna have to get that to you, bro. Hey, give me some, babe. I'm rocking. Yeah, but no, I, it was, it was, it was definitely. I remember it was definitely good quality. You know what I mean? Well, I the crazy thing oh, yeah. is, man, I Mike has one, and I had that glove made, man, from a manufacturer in, in uh, Pakistan. So, dude told me this is gonna be the best glove you ever had. You know, when people lead into stuff with best, it kind uh, yeah, of always throws you off. Yeah, yeah, no, D- right, yeah. Well, all right, I'm trying to get into this, so send me some. So, dude, the, I before I sold one, I wore it. I got 25 rounds out of that glove before it even showed signs of wear. And I was like, should I put that on there <clears throat> on my website? Because I knew as soon as I put, oh, man, this glove is going to get you 25, 30 rounds. Yeah, some somebody, dude with somebody gonna be like, Herman the Monster hand was going to bust out of it. And say, <laughs> right, man, I got one round out of this joint. You know, yeah, so but yeah. it's crazy. But you know, that's what I was doing, man. Like looking for feedback from guys like you. Yeah. Hey, man, how does this treat you? You know, that's it. All that kind of stuff. So, so Mike became kind of like my. He could be my uh, uh my tester because he's right here with me, and I see him <laughs> all the time. You know. 
yeah. no I, I, I know hey, definitely I, can, I, I know definitely when we when we first connected I was like, you can ask these guys, man. I'd be on, I, I've been on Instagram like so casually, bro. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, but like, right. I definitely didn't give you the feed, you know what I mean? Give you the feedback. Like, it was like, right, right, to right. me at that time, bro, it was like, man, people sending me free stuff. Yeah, you know, let's get it. Yeah, give me that. Give me that. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so, but like, that's something I got to do a better job of. And, and I think, I think I did uh, maybe with some other brands down the line. That I was yeah. like, but my, but mainly it was I'm, mainly it's if it's, it's a, if I got a big problem with it, you know what I mean? And like some of the, uh, I mean, sticks. I work with sticks right now, and so they're a new company. Right. And I, I, you know, they they say, hey, we need they they ask they're like, give me the feedback, and so I'm able right. to tell them, hey, like I don't like this about it or whatever case. And so, uh, but yeah, I, I want to apologize for not, oh, you know no. what I mean? For no, no, no. But it's yeah. but still like I, I work with I work with a couple of companies, uh, and it's kind of just a lesson for anybody that's doing the social media stuff. Uh, yeah. I work with a couple of companies that like I did not keep my end of the bargain. You know what I mean? Just on, you know what I mean? Just like yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing Roy, what? Roy's that dude that don't text back, man. Roy's that dude that doesn't text back. That's what it is. No, it ain't but, that. I mean, but I could, I could follow up and be like, hey, oh, yeah. I appreciate <laughs> it. This, this is how and, I, like, I just started it. ghosting people. Like, hey, how did how did the glove fit, Roy? Oh no, no. This is how I looked at it. You know, no matter who I sent something to, I didn't care if you wash your car with it. It was in your possession. You know what I mean? Yeah. At that point, I mean, it's yours because I'm not endorsing you, you know what I'm saying, or anything like that. So I don't expect anything from anybody. So I send I send stuff with that, you know, being said. You know, yeah. this, I'm not expecting anything from you. I'm not I'm not doing any of that. So if I send it to you, if you decide to rock it, man, that's on you. If you and I'm not looking for you to post. I'm not looking for any of that. What I really look for is the feedback because at the end of the yeah. day, uh, if it's a good product, I'll keep pushing it. If it's not, you, you know, I, did, I wouldn't. Yeah, so, yeah, so I had sent a guy a glove, man. This was another glove I got. Uh, it's got the elephant print on it. So I quit I quit selling it, right? Because, man, you might have one that was good for half a round. Or you might have one that was good for 10 rounds. And so <laughs> I sent one to this guy, and he was like, hey, man, you shouldn't sell this raggedy-ass glove, man. <laughs> and um, to none of your Damn. people. And I, matter of fact, you should send me another one. I'm like, Oh, I said, bro, that for free. I'm like, for free, fam. And he was like, I, you know, he was stripping. I started, well, I started talking real bad to him. I'm like, you know what? That's cool, man. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> pocket was like, hey, hey, like, hold, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna bring you to the other one. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, appreciate the feedback. But I mean, I think that's just a lot of small businesses lack. You know what I mean? I think a lot of people are chasing the dollar. I'm not really chasing the money. Not right now, anyway, because it's all a growing process, right? Because I feel like if I can get quality products out there, the the money and all that'll come later on down the line. Oh, big so fan, that's yeah. how I'm, that's how I'm looking at it right now. So if I can't put something quality out there, that'll never come. So if I start sending you stuff or you stuff or you stuff, and then everything you say, oh man, this this trash what you sent me, bro. I know I need to start over, you know, because I got a dope jacket that I just got in. I mean, probably one of the flyest golf jackets you will ever see. But it I mean, came in late. I mean, my my I mean, manufacturer are we, are we was like, see it? Are we going to see it on here? Or we got to wait? <laughs> <laughs> right now, but yeah, I, I can show it, though, no doubt. But my um, it came two months late, bro. So I'm like, I'm telling this dude, what am I going to do with this, bro? You know how to get in Texas? You know, right, I mean, uh, some yeah. cats still can rock it, but, you know, pretty <laughs> much missed that. You know, so it's stuff like that, man, especially because, I don't do anything on consignment. A lot of companies do that. So you will notice that just say you order a product and it takes two or three weeks for you to get said product. And you're like, why the hell is taking two or three weeks to get this product? You know, it's because they do a lot of stuff that's print on demand, right? Like on consignment, I'm going to print this. As soon as the order comes, it goes somewhere else. They print it, then it comes to you. Me, I, got nah, right I just go ahead and... <laughs> I put that bill up front, man, because I want my customers to be able to say, hey, I ordered something from Black Tusk, and it was here within two or three days. I don't care where you are in the U.S. Unless it's something that's out of my control, like FedEx, UPS, and one of my shippers, you're going to get it in two to three days. So, And that's where I want to be. But it's a risk because you you have inventory. You know, A lot yeah. of people don't want to sit on inventory. That's a risk. Yeah. Unless you're a Nike or Adidas or somebody like that who's going to have the inventory, a small business like myself, usually people don't want to do that. But me, I sit on my inventory. It is what it is. And, and if push comes to shove, 
we'll slash prices to get it out. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, that's how I want to rock, man. So I want to be like the big boy. So you got to take big boy chances. So that's what yeah. it is. No, that's our respect right there, man. Yeah, that's respect. Real. But uh, hey, real quick though, let's get that. Let's get that uh, that that premiere, that world premiere of that uh, that jacket, man. With a jacket at. Man, I have to go get one, man. Uh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We'll, we'll we'll drop it on the IG. Share it with us. We drop it on the IG. Make sure everybody gets to see yeah, that. No, you no, know. I, I'll, I'll I'll go get one here in a second. Okay, you want to? Hey, oh, you grab it real quick. We'll 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 do this. So. Oh, we on the move. We on the move. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> World premiere. <laughs> Introducing. <laughs> Straight from the the elephant's mouth. No, that was. Cool. Oh yeah, no doubt. Really that. So actually, I had one. Keep it. Um, Keep it. I had one ready. Oh yeah, okay, it was already okay. Nah, well, I had one. Uh, the one of the golfers that I sponsored was supposed to, you know, come pick one up. Okay. So, and then um. Uh, he just haven't gotten it yet. So the crazy thing is, so I'll let y'all see this joint. So it's got the black tusk going down the placard. Mm. So then it has the, the elephant right here. Okay. So, but the cool thing is, this thing got a Crazy. kangaroo pocket on it. So it's got the half zip, quarter zip rather. And then it got magnets down the side to, uh, that you could just pop up when you get it. Not to let the vent out a little it, bit. It, it, it's an on course. It's an on course jacket. Yes, sir, and waterproof, oh. waterproof, oh. windproof, very light. So, uh, oh. but I guess I'll, I'll probably put them up on the site here pretty soon. And like, you got cats still in, you know, like Michigan and places like that. They, um, still they still like rock it. Yeah. So yeah, I got a lot of customers in Pennsylvania. Uh, man, I got a lot of customers in like. Upstate New York, which is wild, bro. I mean, so I was I would think that most of the people down here would be rocking with it more, but nah, man, most of my customers on the East Coast, which is crazy. Yeah. Well, you know what that connection is? Did you have somebody I don't you don't have you don't have anybody in particular that was kind of pushing it real hard down there? I don't, bro. You know I mean, people just was rocking with me. It's crazy, dude. So I mean you never know where your customer base is gonna come from, man. Yeah. Shoot, dude. I mean just is part of this man I never depend on us yeah I mean it's not um it's not a jab at us but we don't rock with something unless it's uh verified name so to brand. speak yeah you know what I mean not necessarily that it's name brand that somebody somebody else gotta do it you know somebody got to do it like, like when ace, LL no. came out with FUBU right back in the day FUBU wasn't nothing but when LL came out FUBU was the truth right you know what I mean? So same way fan. with Gino Green and I'm speaking my age right now, Gino Green and a lot of them cats like that, bro. You know, you, you couldn't tell what Gino Green was. It was a bunch of nines and it looked like it, it was crazy. I don't know if y'all remember Gino Green, but no, hey, hey, speak you your know, truth, Unc. Showing his age. He like, Unc, come on, Unc. Speak your truth, Unc. Hey. I, mean, I ain't old, but I'm old. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, Foster finally froze up. I love it. I love it. I was like, who's just laughing and talking? Yeah, he moving for me. Yeah. But, oh, okay, okay. Foster, I mean, probably, oh, never mind. I'm so, mad. Stuff like that, man. We, we, it's crazy, man. I was talking, I was telling some dude, he was like, hey, man, I don't know if y'all belong to it. And y'all should, man. It's called um, BGA. It's on Facebook. It's Black Golfers Association. Yeah. They got like, I mean, y'all might belong to it. It got like 90,000 members, right? So the crazy thing is, like, I would post, like, stuff about my, my line launching and all that stuff, letting people know that, hey, this brand is coming out. You know, rock with me if you see it, all that kind of stuff. But, like, we lost. You fight. get You get Keep going. Keep going. You and get. um, No, no. Don't keep going. <laughs> I got to celebrate the day that this boy's technology stopped working. Because <laughs> he be getting on me. Everybody got their time, dog. <laughs> you can't hear this right now, but you'll see it on the back end, hopefully. Everybody got their time, okay? We can't control the oh. technology. Technology <laughs> controls us. All right, my fault. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, yeah. I needed that to be said. Yeah. It's from the, the heart. The, the, the crazy thing about us, bro, this this this, this just uh, blows my mind, right? So I, I tell these cats, oh, man, I got this brand coming out, thinking that people are going to be like, yo, let's roll. You know what I mean? 90,000 members, right? 
Yeah. I'm sitting here going like, whoa. I ain't, you know, I ain't no mathematician or nothing like that, but 90,000 for life, that just don't go together. <laughs> so, you know, and I'm like, all right. So, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm tripping. So, I said, all right, man, you know, I'm a new member or whatever, whatever. So, I charge it to the game. So, I post something to y'all. And then I'm like, whoa. No, I get like five likes. I'm like, okay. So, I said, let me just test. I'm going to post some superficial stuff. So I got a golf locker, Mike, Mike has seen it. So the whole 28 pair of shoes or something like that. So I got a full ticket passes with limited J's and all this kind of stuff, right? So I post this exactly. golf locker, 10,000 views. I'm sitting there going, wait a minute. Okay, now I got them on the hook. Let me post something else. So I post something else by the brand Seven Life. <laughs> and I'm like, man. I'm like, oh, man. Then I post some custom J's I had made. Thousands of likes again. I was like, boy, y'all ain't shit when it comes to, <laughs> when it come to uh, you know, people, you know, supporting each other. Like when you got a business, you know, you, you know, you can't turn your nose up at it. But then also at the same time, when you post something that's really superficial, you know, people dig that. But that's just us. We're a real trick of people, dude. And, and the crazy thing is, uh, I mean, that's just how we rock. But, you know, you, I can't let nothing like that deter me because it doesn't. You know what I mean? At the end no, of the day, man, tough. you just want you just want to be successful. You don't really care who rocks with you. I don't really care who rocks Black Tusk. I just really think, you know, I'm just out here to try to, you know, do something that's good for, for us, the culture, you know, just to get in the arena that we're not in, man. So that's just really what I'm trying to do. Hey, hey man, we appreciate it, though, man. We appreciate you. Taking your you know, time out of your day to hop on the podcast, you know, give us that little tea about you know our, our friends over at TaylorMade, you know, sketchy oh, yeah, all great. habits. You but know, uh... but I mean, you know, I, I tell y'all what, I want to talk about more golf. You guys play a lot of golf. I see Rory playing a lot of golf. You know, I, uh-huh. I told Rory a long time ago, maybe in like late 2020, I need to come get some of that Dallas money. He was like. Nah, my game ain't there. I remember that. You said, Bro, nah, my, my game ain't there. Right there. My game ain't never there. Bro. It's never there. It ain't never there. It ain't, there is no game, bro. Like, people always be wanting to play, man. But, man, y'all going to be disappointed, dog. Bro. It's funny. It's funny. It's funny, too, because, like, I'll post, like, I'll post my good stuff. And then I'd be like, and then people, like, I was talking to Bryce the other day. Uh, Bryce Butler hit me up, and he was like, he said he was at Pebble, and somebody recognized him and, and, and was like, or recognized, thought he was me. Or something yeah. like that. And then they, they were like, oh, you know Roy Blackleroy. And he was like, yeah. And he was like, hey, isn't he Scratch? And then, like, Bryce just bust out laughing. <laughs> and then he hit me up. Then he hit me up, and he told me. Like, he couldn't stop laughing when he sent the message. And then, like, as soon as he told me, like, that was, like, the punchline. Yeah, then I started laughing. So then I'm, like, posting negative stuff. Like, just so everybody got, like, a realistic expectation. Then my coach is like, oh, yeah. hey, stop posting that. Stop posting. Right. Don't post that. I mean, I'm like, bro, that's yeah. my content, dog. This is right. my content. I mean, you, like, you, you got to keep it 100. You know, yeah. Me and, look, me and Mike scuffed some cats up the other day, right? Y'all going to see that video. I mean, that was like last week. You know, them boys have been calling us out for a minute. And, yeah, you know, it's like, coming, the it's first coming. time I played with them cats, I had just tore my Achilles, man. So I was scared as hell to make that turn on the golf swing. So everything was kind of, you know, the swing was kind of truncated and all that. I'm, I'm not a baller, but I can ball. You know what I mean? So if, if that makes sense. So, but you know, every now and then I'll mess around and shoot in the seventies, and hell, I might shoot a hundred. I'm just, I'm not going to even lie. You know what I mean? Independent, like independent on the track. Yeah, you know, right. I won't sit here. And, I mean, I think people golf has the most cap. I, I, I put oh. that on any sport. You know, boys are. Oh man, you know what I'm saying? I shot eighty two today. I said, okay, that's cool. I play with this cat all the time. Say, man. You know, today, both of my shoes deep up in you. I'm like, okay, that's what's up. And then we play. He was like, yesterday, man, I shot 80. I'm like, oh, okay, oh, that's cool. Then he, we played, yeah, he shoot 120. I'm like, bro. <laughs> hey, hey. He lied. He lied. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. That's the, that's the thing about golf, though. Like, I mean, I, Tiger and I shot an 80 on TV. He had. You know what I mean? And, oh. Yeah, like it's in like Brooks. Brooks the other day shot in the 80s. You know what I mean? He so, did, bro. well, golf, he like did. I was joking with somebody the other day. I was like, in any other sport, if your high and low was that big of a difference, they would say you was point shaver. You Too know short. what I mean? Like, yeah, That's like it's golf is right. just like, like today I shot, today I shot 
I was three over on the front. I had two birdies on the front. I had two birdies, and then, like, I had a ton of pars or whatever the case, and I had, like, yeah. two doubles. And then on the back nine, I shot nine over. <laughs> <laughs> They tested me today. They was like, hey, we got we got Doc coming on today. We still good? I was like, man, F this game, dog. I quit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I, I fight all the time, bro. I just want to live in the 80s, bro. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, you know, for I'm sure, not doing man. this. I'm not Great doing this for, I'm not trying to make a tour, bro. I'm 45 years old, bro. I ain't trying to make nobody tour. I ain't trying to do none of that. 80s, so, that's a great place to be, dog. I just want to live in the 80s, bro. Anywhere from <laughs> 80 to 89. I'm good with that. I, I know my lane. You know, if I happen to shoot a 70 something, Gucci. You know, I got Gucci a ball would. over here when I when I shot my first right there, when I shot 79, you know. So and hell, I ain't been back. I tore my Achilles after that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I, I sprained up back, like that. Bro. My body, my body yeah, was like, nope, I, that wasn't I, right. I ain't that thing, bro. <laughs> so, and I was gonna tell B Foster, man, your uncle was very right. Hey, yeah, yeah. Steeler fan, die hard, fam. So, already. Hey, uh, oh yeah, y'all hey, see you know, it. Y'all he, see he, it he, he, he a golfer too, and he 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 cold with the sticks too. Oh okay. Yeah, he golf too. That's he what's golf up. Too. But yeah. yeah, man, I definitely want to get down there. Come on down yeah, I told here, Mike, I'm gonna fly nice, that though. way, man. We ain't gonna be nice to yeah, you. Yeah, I don't want y'all to be nice, bro. Be nice to you. Hey, be nice. We ain't been we ain't been nice to Mike yet. He 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 gonna stop coming eventually. Wow. Here we come. <laughs> we've, been, we've been whooping his he gonna, ass. He ain't he gonna cry when he in the car. Hey, like I said, y'all coming up that day. It's all good, though. He's going to cry when he get in the car, cuz. I'm telling you. Hey, I make, I make, it's one thing I do that make boys just, just in awe. And Mike can tell you this. I probably hit my three wood farther than most cat hit they driver. Straight up. You don't need to drive, man. It's a beautiful thing, bro. You be on that. I hey, know the, the black hey, Henrik Stinson. Hey, let's do let's the do this. Black Henrik Stinson. Hey, hear me out. Let's do it. So let's do this. We're gonna do a two v two, right? We got the Dallas boys, me and Rory, right? And we got y'all H Town boys. Hey man, if, if I post it. throw my team, dog, I'm gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Hey, 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 we hey, gonna hey, be hey, in the fairway. We we'll gonna be it. all right. Hey, hey, we, hey it's on record. It's on Mike, record. Look, I told y'all we it's on record. Breaks off two cats the other day. Hey, no, you ain't seen. You ain't seen me post. You ain't, you ain't seen me fall hit them sticks. Yeah, you, you ain't seen uh, and, uh, and, and if my ball is doing what any anywhere near what I wanted to, we're gonna beat y'all by eleven strokes. Man. We're Mr. Gonna beat you by eleven yeah. strokes. We're gonna do it like that. You see what I do with oh, the regular? I do on the regular. This is a regular <laughs> build right here. Man, that, hey, that's oh, yeah. what it's supposed to be. If you ain't shit talking. In exactly. any kind of competition, what are you talking for? Yeah, I, I'm, so, a, I'm, hey, I'm the house shit. That's talking. why we that's have so much fun. That's what I do. That's how we have so much fun. No doubt, no doubt. Well, I will beat that highway up though. I ain't even tripping. Straight up, straight hey. up. So, yeah, we'll make that trip, make that happen. Awful, we'll, come, we'll come down there and, and you know. Y'all need to take, y'all need to hey, take speak the golfers on the road. I, I can't. You I can't will. Do, I, can't, <laughs> I, can't, I can't do Houston, dog. I got horror stories from Houston, man. <laughs> man, ain't a bad <laughs> trip, man. Not even, hey, this, 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 is all, this is all the drive, bro. I had basketball tournaments in Houston. You know, I wasn't even drive? driving. I was riding and sleeping in the car. I was like, I'll never come back. I wasn't even driving, dog. The crazy thing is, bro. People in the Dallas area don't like Houston, and people from the Houston area don't like Dallas. Yeah, I don't, like I mean, I don't, and, I don't and, understand and, why. I mean, they, like, our traffic it's, is it's doable. serious, bro. It's, no, our traffic ain't doable. And right now, <laughs> since, uh, <laughs> hey, look. I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> and, uh, I, I don't live in the city. I live out, sir. Well, yeah, Mike, me and Mike live roughly in the same area. And yesterday, I was going downtown Houston. I left my house, and this is probably – Three miles stretch. It took me thirty minutes. Yeah, you might two well three. Out. You might as well two move to LA, three bro. Miles, bro. You might as well move to LA. Going downtown. I don't know what yeah. was going. Nah, on, y'all bro. just y'all y'all just y'all just cost that trip. Yeah, yeah. can't do it. I don't think good out of Houston. We gotta stay. We gotta we gotta we gotta we gotta, we'll we gotta meet up in like Nacogdoches or something like SFA. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. That's worse. That's worse. They ain't got no traffic over there. They ain't got oh, cars. They got people. We can do a halfway. We do a halfway match. You, you know, know what though? Waco has a dope course. It's called the Starburst course. Uh, I went not to school right. in Waco. Waco was uh, that course is dope. I mean, look, y'all, Waco, y'all, Waco, y'all, Waco, Austin, San Antonio got good courses. Yeah, y'all, y'all set up I'm the out with me. Y'all just let me know where I need to be at, man. It's, you know. Yeah, oh, let, hey, let, okay. let me know where okay. let me know where, okay. let me know where okay. B need to be at. 
Let me know where B needs to be at, though. <laughs> and I'll be right there behind him. Like, let's go. I got, I got, there, I got, I got Team Nike, a.k.a. Rory in the building. We coming in. Hey, I'm coming in with Man. my tailor-made shit, too. Hey. I'm going to be pissing you hey, off. Oh, you have to be <laughs> out. You're going to be hey, out. You have to. Hey, you're going to be out. Because he don't miss no matter what he's saying. He not the Black Tusk way. crew, man. You know, t- give another L out real quick. You know, we got to yeah. see what we got to do. <laughs> Do that man, you know, so yeah, but, but I appreciate I'm, I'm it though, man. Down. I'm definitely down. Y'all just yeah. let me know. Sure. No, I appreciate it though. Hey, thank you again for coming out for the podcast, man. We really appreciate it. Absolutely, appreciate you know. Know. Uh, Absolutely. hey, keep in contact, man. We'll start. Hey, we'll get that match up and put on YouTube so y'all can see, man. Hey, right appreciate it. Though. Absolutely, man. Y'all need to take the show on the road, you know, do do like a uh, on course vlog or something like that. Where y'all doing? Oh, we got it coming. Live, we got it so. coming. Yeah, so we got it know, coming, man. Bro. I appreciate y'all for uh, for having me on, man. So I really All appreciate right. it, man. Keep doing what y'all doing, man. I really dig the podcast, man. I hope it grows uh, to unimaginable numbers, man. And I'll be there to support all the way, man. I appreciate right. that. Appreciate it. Hey, looking appreciate forward to the it, Black Tusk bounce back, dog. I'm looking forward. Oh yeah, to it. no doubt. Fan. We coming, man. We coming. You know, you know, minor setback for major comeback. For sure. no hey, one hundred. All right, man. Y'all take it easy, man. This is Golf Fish. We out.